Today, in our devotional time, we're in Revelation chapter 15. And the book of Revelation is just full of all kinds of imagery and crazy stuff. We have today these angels dropping seven plagues onto the earth. But in the midst of that, there is, you know, plagues going on, all kinds of crazy stuff. But also there's the faithful, there's the true. And John shows us this picture of them worshiping God. Listen to these verses of those who are faithful, those who are true, and in the midst of tribulation, here on earth, this is what's going on in heaven. Listen to these verses. They sing the songs of Moses, the servant of God, the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are your works, Lord God. God, you are almighty, just and true. Your ways, O King of the saints. Who shall not fear you, O Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy, for all nations shall come and worship before you. John sees wrath to be poured out. Seven gold bowls of wrath, seven terrible plagues. But in the midst of that, he also sees the faithful. He sees those who trust God, who serve God, who stand strong in the midst of the beast and all that's coming down on the earth. And they're worshiping him, they're serving him, and they're declaring who he really is. And I would say this, as I read through this chapter, as I think about what's going on there, that that's our call in the midst of suffering, in the midst of difficulties, in the midst of circumstances we don't understand when we see things happening all around us that seem evil and harsh and difficult. We're called to be faithful, called to be true, called to praise his name, like those in the book of Revelation, to say, you alone, O God, are mighty and worthy to be praised.